Greetings, dear colleagues. Uh, the topic of our work is research on the management of resource potential in European countries in the context of post coal mining. Uh, despite the intensive development of methods and means for renewable energy resources and the use of alternative energy, the dynamics of coal mining growth are positive both for the main coal producing countries and worldwide as a whole. As seen in the figure, global coal consumption reached a new historical maximum in 2022, although it only grew by 1% compared to 2021. After that, coal consumption is expected to stabilize until 2025. The subject of this article is a quantitative assessment of the interdependence of resource potential of European countries on the level of their economic security and stability. Therefore, an important indicator of a national economic security is the degree of coverage of the country's needs by its own and external resources, and in particular, the flexibility of the production function uh, should be taken into account from the standpoint of uh, product investment and uh, financial policy. Based on the above research on the management of resource potential in European countries in the context of post coal mining remains a relevant scientific task. Um, on the left side uh, of the diagram, plans for the gradual cessation of coal, peat and oil shale usage in European Union member states are uh, demonstrated. However, several Eastern European countries, uh, for example, Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, Romania, Bulgaria, and Ukraine, still have a rally of energy from brown coal and have not yet uh, developed plans for a phased uh, withdrawal from coal generation. For example, Bulgaria ranks fourth among the most uh, coal-dependent European countries. Approximately 45% uh, of Bulgarian electricity is generated by the uh, four large thermal power plants. Hungary is another of the most coal-dependent countries in the European Union. In 2016, the country received 18% of its electricity from coal-fired power plants, 50% from nuclear power plants, and 20% uh, from gas. Currently, brown coal accounts for 14% uh, of Hungary's carbon dioxide emissions. Abandoning uh, thermal power generation could be have a negative con consequence for the country. If there are uh, no balanced alternative uh, sources of uh, revenue, the basis of economic prosperity. Um, Poland has agreed with the European Union to extend the deadline for uh, closing mines from uh, 2068 to 2049 in the exchange for joining the Green Deal Pact. Uh, Poland will uh, receive the 160 billion euro from the European Union in the period uh, 2021. 2027, with an additional 45 uh, billion year oil allocated specifically for the transformation of coal regions. On the right side of the diagram, uh, data on coal mining in Europe from 1080 to uh, 2020 and forecast until 2100 are provided. As we can see, the European Union plans to completely uh, case. Uh, coal mining by uh, 2100. This uh, decision is driven by low energy uh, efficiency, aging energy infrastructure, and uh, dependency of energy inputs. Um, there are key issues that require immediate uh, attention. At the same time, comprehensive modernization and reform are necessary to achieve the goals set by Ukraine's energy strategy by 2065 including uh, integration into European energy markets. Uh, this involves uh, the modernization and construction of power lines and uh, substantinations as well uh, as the implementation of market mechanism as it is highly competi uh, competitive market. Uh, it's important to remember that uh, significant investment have been made in the infrastructure of coal mining regions in European countries 
however many years, and maintaining it today requires substantial uh, financial investments, material, and human resources. The volumes of coal production in tons of conditional fuel and uh, consumption in European countries and the estimated cost is of generation and present it to tables on the left. In connection with the above, analytical dependence has been considered to assess the multi-resource potential, worker contribution to the GDP, uh, foreign direct investment, oil equivalent export per hectare, um, considered as variable X. Production functions and regression equations for resource payers have been constructed. The results of uh, calculating the elastic parameters resource efficiency coefficients uh, presented uh, in the table on the right. Uh, method uh, for assessing resource potential is proposed by comparing the array of resource interaction over time at uh, fixed GDP and uh, substantiation rates uh, for this purpose, is a clients, uh, and um, is a clients have been constructed based on statistical reports for um, a fifteen-year period. Uh, these regularities are presented in Figure two and three. A positive slope of the clients indicates that uh, an increase in the volume of uh, one resource requires an increase in the use of another resource so to avoid a reduction in GDP. A negative slope uh, of the clients indicates uh, that a reduction. Uh, in one resource uh, will always lead to an increase in the consumption of another resource. Uh, so, con conclusions. So the article is dedicated uh, to the issue of diversifying the source of electricity supply of European countries by replacing thermal power generation with stations operating on renewable energy sources. Economic and ecological aspects uh, related to the de depletion of coal, of coal reserves um, considered. It is emphasized that a loss of coal resource is not only about its virtual value, but also involves the complexity of implementing and the cost of creating solar, wind, or nuclear power stations. Therefore, the abandonment of thermal power generation is reflected not at the moment of station closures, but during the period of the shortage of previously planned energy production volumes. This period is usually distant in time from the moment of closing coal enterprises. Despite sufficient coal reserves and the competent means of coal the energy market, it is classified as um, promising based on ecological criteria. To evaluate the parameters of energy production diversification, the use of a production function, a purpose is proposed. Creating such a regulatory mechanism will allow comparing a country's capabilities regarding its resource potential and abandonment of thermal power generation. Resource limits uh, are considered as a constant values in this approach. In formulating the problem, a spe specified level is noted, uh, which is necessary to ensure that the current levels of uh, electricity consumption are not maintained the required number of jobs. Thank you for attention.